All right, so now we are on to step four of the, pro- of the process right now, and this is all about presence. Okay, Justin, so why is presence so important? Well, John, when we are pitching, we tend to think almost exclusively in terms of what we're going to say. And of course, what we're going to say is important. However, the research actually tells us that what we say has less of an impact than how we say it. Mm -hmm. Now, that might sound pretty startling, but just imagine uh, your partner said to you, John, I love you. I love you. John, I love oh, I love you. <laughs> now, the words I love you might be pretty nice words, but in that tone, you're going to seriously consider the future of your relationship, right? <laughs> because the rolling eyes and the boredom in the voice suggest that, in fact, they don't really mean it. Mm-hmm. Now, the same thing happens in a pitch. If you go there and say all the right things, but your body language, your facial expression, your tone of voice – do not convey it. They will sooner believe how you say it than what you say. Also, if your tone of voice and your body language and facial expression contradicts what you say, they will consider you insincere and untrustworthy. Mm-hmm. Now, you might say, but yeah, it's going to go out there and I am going to believe it. Well, yes, but this is what I've seen is that when people are doing high stakes pitches, often because of nervousness uh, and sometimes just because uh, getting in front of people – I guess that is probably the nervousness part, but some people are just less expressive Mm -hmm. uh, non-verbally because we're talking here about body language, tone of voice, facial expression, posture, gestures. All of this is part of the communication. And John, what I find here, particularly in the training and the coaching that I do, is that we film everyone. And there's something about seeing yourself and Mm -hmm. hearing yourself. Initially, it's just we tend to – be quite averse to just seeing ourselves. So we've got to get over that because that's mm-hmm. just, just get, get used to it. But after filming yourself one or two times, then you can actually start being quite objective. And, and people very quickly get it. You know, I give them the, I give them the, the, the guidelines on presence, what I call presence, which is all that nonverbal communication. But they pretty much can say, they say, oh my gosh, I'm walking up and down. Or I keep saying, um, or, or or, or like, or uh, they often can see it. So you want to give yourself that opportunity to see yourself. And what's really important is giving yourself the time to focus on your nonverbal. Most people think of pitching. All they think about is that script. And it, as I say, it's important, but Look, the number one reason they choose one pitch over another, this comes from a study, it's a European study based on 70 uh, uh, blue chip companies, why they chose one pitch over another, 10 reasons. Number one reason, energy and enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. Energy and enthusiasm. Now, energy and enthusiasm is almost exclusively conveyed through your nonverbal communication. It's, it's, you know, in fact, telling somebody, wow, I'm really excited. So those (laughs) words, again, you know, really excited. They mean nothing, right? You know, it's, it's, it's how you show it. And in fact, you don't have to tell people you're excited because they can see it, right? It's like Margaret Thatcher used to say, if you, tell, if you have to tell people you're a lady, you probably aren't one. <laughs> and it's the same energy and enthusiasm. You don't, you've got to show it. And, and it is incredible if you think, why is this so important? Well, people move emotionally before they move any other way. Mm-hmm. People truly move emotionally. And and, not, you know, we think of ourselves as rational creatures. They will make the decision on an emotional basis and then rationalize it later. Mm-hmm. We're rationalizing more than mm-hmm. rational creatures. So that emotion, we mirror the emotions of the people around us. When you are pitching, they are mirroring you. Mm-hmm. And this is actually, the neuroscience mm-hmm. tells us there's actually a part of the brain called the mirror neural network. They are, they are actually neurologically mirroring your state. When you are smiling, even if they're not smiling, internally, the, the part of the brain that activates smiling gets activated by seeing your smile. So your, if you want to know how your client, your prospect feels, look in the mirror. Yeah. They feel what you are projecting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's fa- I think that's fascinating. And I, I mean, I always say to people, right? I mean, when, if you're going into pitch or you're having a conversation or you're selling, if you don't come across as you are excited about what you have to say and your product or your service, how do you expect the other person to be, right? I, I, I mean, you can't, as you say, you can't come in and say, uh, "Hi, Justin, this is a really great product that's going to change your your life." 
can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And it, and it seems so obvious, but how often do people do that? You know, and it's like, you know, you say to somebody, you know, how are you feeling? They're like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm great. Yeah. And you want to say, well, <laughs> tell your face. <laughs> you know? And the truth is, John, some people are less expressive. And, mm-hmm. and you're not everybody has to be a highly expressive sure. extrovert to be successful sure. in this. They don't. But, and I've seen people who are actually, you know, quite introverted, but you, you've still got to show it. And, and as you said, if you, feel it on the inside you will tend to express it on the outside you will tend to but you also need to be conscious of how you're coming across externally Mm -hmm. it's not enough just to assume that it's going to be there Uh, and you know this is not about being an a artificial version of yourself we want to be authentic Mm -hmm. but we want to be the best of ourselves you know we are our concern is we're, we're corporate athletes we're going out there we've got to perform you know and we want to make sure that we're performing at the at the best level yeah, yeah. and, and uh, taking charge of of our, our presence well that enables us to do so yeah. and i would argue that if you if you don't really believe in your product or, or you don't really believe in what you're doing then it's hard to be authentic so that's something that people ought to consider you know whatever you're doing you, you really do need to believe in it okay Absolutely. 